criticism of the labor ideology of the West, the Protestant ideology. You know, the Western civilization is based on the foolish idea uh, written by the um, by some scholars in 1512 uh, on on the door of a church. Ah, by by Martin Luther on the, on the door of a church in Germany. He wrote there some criticism upon Catholicism, which were basically true. But he also said that God judges us for every second of our life. And in every second we have to work. And if we work, we go to heaven. We don't have to waste any moment of our life. So if I wasted the past 15 minutes by thinking of what I'm going to say in this video, then God will judge me harshly. And the ones who work a lot go to, to purgatory where they are purified, the secret service want to purify me next by re removing one of my teeth and then kicking my ass and then uh, uh, killing me and then resurrecting me and make me whole again, fixing all my health. Why could do they did that a year ago, two years ago or, or 16 years ago when I started on my divine mission or, or meanwhile, you know, anyway, crazy. Romanian ideology <laughs> which is based on the Atlantean. I'm not saying that the Atlantic ideology is crazy because that would mean that I am crazy and I'm not yet ready to admit that of course. <laughs> uh, maybe I have some great rage inside me and only now in the last four days of the test of between 490 and 494 days until the 27th and 20 7th of May 2014 I will find my true rage and true spirit <laughs> and uh, you know life is complicated but uh, some things are clear enough first of all there is no heaven no hell and no purgatory there are, there are angels and demons but not as you imagine them so and this whole ethical battle is foolish because uh, in the West it is said the work defines the man. So we have a nice series called Defying Gravity where they say, oh, we decide in every moment of our life what we're going to do, what to do, to open our doors to close. And, uh, and they show a black um, astronaut who's going out into space without his spacesuit because he believes he saw Krishna. Now, actually, it was an Indian who believes there is Krishna outside and they barely save his life. And then there's an Afro-American which goes there and he's ejected and he dies horribly into empty space. He says, well, this man trained a lot, but he decided to open the wrong door and all he did was wasted, which is, you know, a pretty crazy idea, because that will be the same to say that all my work of 16 years for you is wasted if I kill myself or if I show my dick to you, you know, I'll be the first guy to show my, my dick to the public. And then they will condemn me and burn me alive or maybe kill me. And everything I did would not matter. That is absolutely bull bullshit. Everything we do matters. So, uh, this is the ethics uh, you, you cannot say because I believe I was under the obviously wrong impression <laughs> that every man decides what he is going to do next. What he or she is going to do next, a man, a woman, or child. And. Uh, so, um, to be politically correct, so uh, uh, we have this uh, idea that uh, uh, the man is defined by his work. So the man does not define his work, he w his work is defining him. So he does not decide what he will do next, uh, he is defined uh, by what he did. So if he, if I am defined by what I did, then uh, you will know what I will do next. So I'm asking you, what I will do next? <laughs> you don't know. Yeah, that's right. No. So this idea is bullshit. Uh, you know. Uh, so this is the ideology. But this ideology, which is obviously crazy, made the West. Uh, uh, progress and because uh, there is a lot of the philosophy of insatisfaction and greed 
There is an, an invisible hand who, which moves the economy. In order to, the economy to be moved, people have to consume and waste. In order co to consume and waste, they have to be stupid and irrational and irresponsible. And we have to encourage them to be stupid and irrational and irresponsible. So, uh, how are going the ethical beings to become conscious if they are irresponsible, irrational and stupid? Well, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? That is why in Lemuria now, in Arabs, they say, oh, Arabs are so in the past. And the Indians are so in the past. But at uh, one time in the past, they made Vimanas, flying saucers, and they had pretty good society, technological. Now, the, now they are post-technological. Why? Because they wish to get to the consciousness. And how do you get to consciousness? Well, you get to the consciousness by becoming conscious. And how do you become conscious? Well, through pain, of course. Because my father told me, oh, you, do, you are not hissing high things out of your mouth. You are just pretending because you are a big wizard and eh? you are acting, you know, uh, under the spells of dark magic. So I said, oh, good. put a little finger in my mouth and see for yourself. No, no. And so he remained unconscious. My father is unconscious because he did not took his chance at consciousness. I did not say, oh, you're stupid. I'm not, I'm not practicing black magic. Oh, but I saw you, your ghost and my children you want to hurt. No, I just want to see how you're doing. Oh, no, 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 no. You send me viruses. And you're with Satan, but you're Lucifer yourself. Oh, but I deserted myself. You deserted yourself? Yes. Okay. okay. So, we have all this stupid behavior in, in Atlantis all over the place. By encouraging people to be wasteful, of course, we waste. <laughs> and uh, uh, the things that uh, happens when you are very close to death or to physical trauma, I'm thinking, why the hell do I need to buy, to buy a tablet or a computer or, you know, a hard drive? If tomorrow I'll be dead, what use could this have for me? Isn't better to find a nice girl and fuck her or to eat something nice or to, or to talk with nice or to follow my crazy father and ask how he is doing for a change? You know, life is life. Why? So this is how, of course, the Lemurian society is in the past. The fact that they are burning people alive and decapitating hanging them shows. But, uh, you know, we are at the same level. <laughs> then the, uh, so um, it, there, is no, there are not so many differences because people believe, oh, you live in such a dark past in Romania and we in America, we have such an enlightened society. How? Well, our president is elected by Illuminati, we are run by corporations, by greed, by oil and weapons, we go and conquer other countries, we have the slaves of Englishmen, and uh, so how it is this different from us? Well, no. it is not. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> so that is why all these ethical battles are stupid, because no matter what side you choose, it is the same thing. All choices are meaningless. This is how you, you go into a cab and the cab ask me, where do you want uh, us to go? That street or that street? I say, well, you decide. No, I don't want to decide. I want you to decide. Okay. So if you want me to decide and you want me to prove that I'm an ethical being, who is going to test you? To prove that you are an ethical being and you can make decisions. Ah, well, yeah. And then I get to the store and I get the all sorts of, you know, things like this, all sorts of colors. What color do you want? What sort do you want? They are all the taste, they all taste the same, they are full of the same chemical shit. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so many choices are irrele irrelevant and these choices do not bring consciousness, of course. I passed consciousness when I got into the first test of Harta or, or of Agartha, I was already conscious. So the first conscious to spirit, spirit to light, light to creative God, creative God to... Um, 
Uncreated qualities, uncreated qualities to Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, uncreated nature, uncreated nature, uncreated nature, uncreated spring, God spring, first level, second level, third level, fourth level, fifth level, sixth level of synergy, seventh level of synergy. Because when I started the, the test, I already passed to the spirit, so I'm reaching the seventh level of synergy. So, you know, it, it depends where you, you start the test of Agartha, of course. Obviously, you start from your own level, you don't start the test from their level. <laughs> you start to grow from your own level in which you are, in which you practice. You can have millions of dimensions if your level is so much because you have fallen, like Lucifer, like me, until a very shitty level, you are on that shitty level and you have to raise yourself, you know. So. But all this philosophy of insatisfaction and greed leads to chaos. I uh, finally saw young people kissing each other, making love in the squares, and there are many concerts in Cluj. They said, uh, and the doctor said, well, they are like bacteria. You know, when you, you, are, when you increase the temperature, then bacteria start to make love. And there uh, are viruses, and this is how actually things are because this bacteria the princess Miela from Agartha is increasing my temperature over these 400 years uh, 400 days and I am starting to make love with myself with the others <laughs> I'm starting fucking this <laughs> and so screwing up. so it does not matter and everything matters goodbye